Okay, so, hi, hello, welcome back to another Creepypasta video. Today, Creepypasta, we are, we are going to be reading, is called Ability, but before we get into it, I do want to say a few things. First off, the video is a one take, so if you do hear me stumble, mumble, fumble, and mess up my words, I am sorry, this video is a one take. I do have a way to probably edit my videos uh, now, but that will be in the future. Um, but for now, this is still going to be a one take, so if you hear me mess up, I'm sorry. Second thing I do want to say, please consider using code GOONS at GaresUps.gg. It's code G-O-O-N-S. Use that to get 10% off at checkout. And I'm pretty sure the code works for merchandise, the cups, the tubs, with the energy drinks, and all that stuff. Uh, GaresUps is the equivalent of Kool-Aid for adults. They have caffeinated and non-caffeinated versions of the drinks. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. Okay. Uh, also, they do have flavors inspired by your favorite creators, such as j Schlott. Shy Lily, the Russian Badger, and even the Goons, which is McNasty, Soup, Dew, and Blark. So, if you're interested in that, go check them out. Link at the top of the description. Okay, so outside of that, let's get into it. That screen pasta is called Ability. I live in Osaka, Japan, and often use the subway to go to work in the morning. One day, when I was waiting for the train, I noticed a homeless man standing in the corner of the subway station, muttering to himself as people passed by. He was holding out a cup and seemed to be begging for spare change. A fat woman passed by the homeless man, and I instinctively heard him say, Pig. Wow, I thought to myself, this homeless man is insulting people, and he still expects them to give him some money? Then a tall businessman went by, and the homeless guy muttered, Human. Human, I can't argue with that. Obviously, he was a human. The next day, I arrived early at the subway station and had some time to kill. So, I decided to stand close to the homeless man and listen to his strange mutterings. A thin, haggard-looking man passed in front of him, and I heard the homeless man guy, I heard the homeless guy mutter, Cow. Cow, I thought. The man was too skinny to be a cow. He looked more like a turkey or a chicken to me. A minute or so later, a fat man went by and the homeless man said, Potato. Potato. I was under the impression, the impression that he called all fat people pig. The next day at work, I couldn't stop thinking about the homeless man and his puzzling behavior. I kept trying to find a logic or pattern in what he was muttering. Perhaps he has some kind of psychic ability, I thought. Maybe he knows what these people were in a previous life. In Japan, many people believe in reincarnation. I observed the homeless man many times and began to think that my theory was right. I often heard him calling people things like rabbit or onion or sheep or tomato. One day, curiosity got the better of me and I decided to ask him what's going on. As I walked up to him, he looked at me and said, Bread. I tossed some money into his cup and asked him if he had some kind of psychic ability. The homeless man smiled and said, Yes, indeed. I do have a psychic ability. It's an ability I obtained years ago, but it's not what you might expect. I can't tell the future or read the minds or anything like that. Then, what is your ability? I asked eagerly. The ability is merely to know the last thing somebody ate, he said. I laughed because I realized that he was right. He said, bread. The last thing I had eaten for breakfast that day was toast. I walked away shaking my head. Of all the psychic abilities someone could have, this one must be the most useless. Okay, so that wasn't... A really creepy pasta, though. I honestly thought it was, the homeless man was going to be like uh, a cannibal or something. But hey, it's still kind of like a creepy pasta in a way. Uh, even though it's not really scary, it's still something. It's on here, though. So uh, yeah. Oh wait, I didn't pick it up. Wait. So when the tall guy in the suit walked past and he said "human," that one guy was a cannibal. Oh shit. Okay, that that flew over my head. That flew over my head. So, um, yeah, okay. I mean, it's kind of eerie to a degree, I guess. Um, I'm thinking of scenarios in my head now that could be kind of funny. 
in this term. But, um, yeah, I'm just not going to say it for here. But, um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. Um, yeah, but I do have a PC now. I don't know when this video is going to be posted, but I may have at least an edited video out sometime soon. Uh, I still need to figure out because Filmora is off the table. You have to pay money for that. So, um, I'm not going to do that. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Maybe I can try get like cap cut or something. See if I can do like a ten minute video. But um, yeah. Um, uh, links down below. If you want to follow me anywhere else, I um, and also you'll find gamer subs down below. Use code goons. You get ten percent off at checkout. You find something that you will like. So um, yeah. Okay. So I do want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye everyone.